Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Hydrogen and Fuel Cells Europe here at the Hannover Messe 2023. You're here at the technical forum where we dive into all of the juicy details of the hydrogen technology. I invite you all to have a seat, have a drink. The hostesses are here to serve you. And now let's move on to some technical details. So we'll be talking about bipolar plates and gaskets for electrolyzers and fuel cells. I'm here with Eisenhut, project manager, fuel cells and electrolyzers. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Martin Engelke. Yeah, thank you. Hi, welcome. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here with you. And today I want to introduce you the Eisenhut company. The Eisenhut company is a small or mid-sized company in the, uh, in, the in the Harz Mountains. And we have around six, 70 employees. And I represent our hydrogen department. So here, what I want to show you is some material and bipolar plates, seals, stacks, products we supply to our customers. We can see on the uh, left corner the compound, what's absolutely the important component for our further products. So the component has to be a special mixture of polymer and graphite. And um, with a good dispagation, we get good products like the structured bipolar plates, what you can see in the middle. And we stick it together to s stacks and full cells or to um, electrolyzing stacks, what's here shown in the uh, right corner. And these bipolar plates are made out of injection molding, automization processes. So for Eisenhut, as a mid-size company, it's absolutely a need uh, to um, have this innovation So against big players. So for example, we get some awards for sustainability or uh, compounds like titanium, bipolar plates with good conductivity, electrical conductivity. So in the next um, slide, we can see the fields of applications where we can use our bipolar plates, like uh, full cells and low temperature or high temperature at um, applications uh, where it's a polymer, the, um, um, the part was absolutely um, 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 this, uh, what makes the decision. So for low temperature, we need a soft, uh, we can use soft polymers to dispagate them with uh, graphite. For high temperature, we should um, switch to thermoset materials and uh, we can use them also in uh, aggressive mediums like uh, methanol systems or direct methanol systems. And we also can make the reverse to electrolyzers where we can use it maybe in alkaline or PEMA electrolyzers. So we can use our bipolites too, maybe in other applications like um, the electrochemical wastewater treatment where we um, clean water from the automotive industry out of um, heavy metals and uh, uh, water hardener. So um, what we can say to electrolyzer, um, we see that the market for electrolyzer is growing um, faster than for the, for the fuel cells because we need the hydrogen at first. So, and um, Eisenhut is a player in the market since 15 years. So there's a direct identification of our company to the market. So, and we produce um, also um, nickel mesh uh, bipolar plates and uh, structured plates out of metal. So we can use this in an electrolyzer as an anode. So there's no erosion on the surface and um, on the cathode side, we can use a graphite material. So we can use this in a long-term application. Um, now we can say we have inquiries for small stack projects, also as a, a higher large electrolysis project where we uh, will sell more stacks than, um, than actually is um, possible in the future. So here we can see some electrolysis solutions. 
and how we can make it. Oh, okay, it's not working. Um, this one on the left corner is a, is a mill plate or structures ready to use plate. We can uh, get out of the mode directly. We have not to, to um, make a machining process after um, the, um, the, the compression molding. Instead, uh, maybe the only one we have to do is to cut out these um, holes for the manifold. So this one, uh, what we see here is, a, is like a rotating electrode, so we can um, sweep the scaling out of it, of the surface. And then uh, next part, uh, on the next slide we can see um, a small overview of our uh, bigger um, electrolysis project, what I uh, said before. We are able to construct a pro small prototype, what is working. We, we constructed a uh, um, um, 5 kV stack now, and at the end of the year, we can um, uh, start a small series production. So, and after this, when, if it works, then we can sell more than 1,000 units per year. So Eisenhut is growing, and um, the next part is the seal production. So the seals are the most underestimated component because um, we have to fulfill all the tolerances. The bipolar plates has stick together uh, with membrane, and um, 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 there sh should be no um, um, gas leakage through the um, um, seals. This is uh, the importance part, and so we should not um, underestimate the seals. So we have the sealing competence because we have the molds for it and we are a player in the market since many years and we are also a serious supplier for HTPEM um, seals. So next part is here. We, how can we stick uh, the uh, bipolar plates and the um, seals together? We see some opportunities, percent changes, like dispensation uh, in the left corner with a robot. We can um, uh, put the ready-to-use plate in an injection molding machine, and then we um, mold the, um, the gasket around um, in the gap of the bipolar plate. And then we have a full uh, bipolar plate and a um, and the ceiling together, so we can stick all together in a stack. Then um, next, what can we expect in the future for full cells? Geometry is important for the bipolar plates. It's absolutely a need that the bipolar plate, that the flatness of the bipolar plate is is really good. There should be no tolerances in flat in uh, in the thickness between some corners or in the middle of the plate in the flow field. So if the membrane is smooth on this uh, surface, then we have a good efficiency in this uh, stack application. So the tolerances uh, depends on the chosen process. So we see um, at the moment we have the, um, the best um, thickness tolerances in, um, in milled processes and ready to use compression molding processes. And we are able to, um, to switch to injection molding processes in the future with the same tolerances. So then uh, we, we see some process techno technologies we, uh, which are able at Eisenhut. So we can uh, produce compression molding and blank plates, foils, mold to size, and injection molding processes. After it, we have a, um, a little bit of um, machining processes, but uh, the most of the plates are ready to use. So here's some example for the injection molding process. It starts with the compounding of the material, which is um, the um, the, um, most, had the most influence of the, of the uh, material. Um, then, with our in-house mo in molds, we um, uh, produce a plate. In, uh, and when we produce a plate, we can put it out of the mold, it's ready. And then we test the mold in our quality control. 
we have some um, quality improvements, like this one is our testing machine for the um, gas tightness. So we can detect a leakage through the plate or not. If, if not, then the plate is ready and we have a full traceability of each plate. So um, a last example is the foil production. We start also again with a compound. We can, ex extrude, uh, we can make extrusion to a foil. And when we have this foil, we can store it as a roll, on a roll. Um, when we start it, we can put it in our um, in-house molds and we stamp, uh, we, we cut pieces out of the roll, we stamp it, and then we got electrodes with a flow field in it. And this is um, for mass production the best way at the moment. So uh, the last point is full cell business unit stacks. This means we have our own molds, we have our own bipolar plates and our own gaskets. We can assemble it together and then we can produce a full size stack. And we realized, uh, for example, we realized a one kV stack at the moment and we um, want to um, grow up in the market. Yeah. Thank you for your attention. If you have questions, you can ask me. Thank you very much for your presentation, Martin. Please give him a round yeah. of applause. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have a few minutes, so any questions from the audience at the moment, please uh, raise your hand. So, uh, Martin, you're producing bipolar plates. You're yeah. starting to get into producing stacks as well. Yeah. When can the people here buy these stacks from you? Oh, maybe next year or at the end of this year, later this year. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> All right, maybe then they, uh, they should already uh, get your contacts. So where, where can they have a chat with you? Where's your stand? Um, it's on E18. So, so E18. E18. Yeah, in this hall here. All right. Well, thank you, Martin. And everyone, please uh, visit Martin at E18 to uh, have a little chat. Thank you. Thank you for your attention.